my name is Dr. Mark Ivaniski. I'm at the Clear Center of Health in Mill Valley. So my, my practice is primarily kind of chronic disease, but I'm getting more into the anti-aging realm and um, natural aesthetics. So I do different procedures for natural aesthetics, do um, something called uh, PRP facials or vampire facials where you take out um, some blood, you spin it, and you concentrate the platelet-rich plasma layer, and you dribble that on the face and you microneedle it in and help stimulate collagen and evens out skin tone. It's kind of like a natural kind of a, uh, you know, rejuvena skin rejuvenation. And I'm also doing something called a plasma lift, which is a new type of technology where there's a plasma pen which generates a plasma arc, which is a superheated ball of gas that instantly vaporizes skin. And you do it over areas of the face where there's loose skin and it creates a tightening and toning effect and it's kind of like a natural facelift without surgery. I'm one of the only doctors in California that's doing it right now. We're having really good results with it. You can do it around the eyes, you can do it over eyelids, you can do it over necks. So I do a lot of you know, hormone balancing, I do chronic disease management, Lyme, um, I have an MS patient, some, some chronic um, degenerative diseases, some autoimmune conditions. Um, which I really love working on those kind of complex internal medicine cases, but I also love working on these kind of anti-aging aesthetic procedures because people get really happy when they see the results. They get really excited when they see kind of their face kind of change and they look 10 years younger after a procedure. So, And it's also, they're natural anti-aging kind of procedures and it's not the injection of Botox, it's not the injection of synthetic fillers, it's just, it's, it's a more natural kind of approach to anti-aging and uh, aesthetic medicine. So the first procedure is called um, the vampire facial or PRP uh, facial. That is when we take out a, a small, small fraction of blood, we spin it down and concentrate the platelets. In that layer is, is different growth factors, healing factors. We extract that from, from the blood and then we inject it and also microneedle it into the face. So anytime you have a cut or anything, this is the layer of blood that has all the healing cofactors. So you know, it's been used in orthopedic medicine to, to extract and concentrate and inject into joints to help repair tendons and ligaments. But in aesthetic medicine, you take it, you extract it, and then you, you put it on the face and inject it into the hair to stimulate new follicle growth or new collagen growth in the face. We do a blood draw, you know, from, from your arm. We take out a, a vial of blood. We put it in a centrifuge. We spin it down. The, the red blood cells are extracted out. And then what's left is the plasma layer. We take that layer and pull it out with a syringe, and that's what we use to inject into the face, into the scalp, microneedle into the face. It's actually, a, a, within that plasma layer, there's another layer called the, the platelet-rich plasma layer, the PRP layer. It's a thinner layer at the bottom of that plasma layer. That's what we're actually extracting and using to, to stimulate the face and the hair. You know, people can see results within two weeks. Um, they notice their, their skin tone improves. They notice fine lines and wrinkles improving. Um, the collagen matrix under the skin takes a while to rebuild, so full results aren't really seen until about two months after. Usually within, within two weeks, some pe many people can see results. If their lines are deeper, if they're more set, if, if the person's a little bit older, then they may need repeat treatments in order to kind of get a full kind of benefit. But, you know, women in their 40s, 30s, 50s could potentially, you know, see really good results with just, just one treatment. For hair, um, it works really well for women in particular. Women, women I've noticed in general, it, it res respond really well to the PRP treatments in the scalp because as we age, the, the, one of the ways that, that, that um, hair loss is being affected is by the increase in DHT, which is a conversion factor of testosterone. And women have less of it, men have more of it. With the injections of PRP into the scalp, we're kind of counterbalancing the DHT effects. And with women having less, they, they usually need less treatments of the injections of the PRP to see benefit, whereas men need typically more rounds of treatment. Some men can respond really well after, after you know, one or two treatments. And usually they're spaced out between, um, well, we do a series of uh, treatments per, uh, what, twice per month for four months, or we could potentially sp space them out depending on what, you know, after we assess their scalp and see what kind of hair loss they have. It actually, anchoring the, the follicle into the scalp. So it creates this kind of golden anchor into the, of, with the, the root, kind of anchors into the scalp and then the growth factors are helping to stimulate that hair follicle more into the growth phase of the hair. So the plasma lift is a really cool technology. It's, 
using plasma, but not plasma as in blood plasma, plasma as in the fourth state of matter. So matter, matter it, within matter, there's gas, solid, liquid, and plasma. Plasma is what is a superheated ball of gas. It's what the sun generates constantly. It's those, those plasma arcs that the sun's generating. It's used in industrial welding to basically melt steel and cut, cut steel and, and, uh, for making airplanes and all kinds of things. In aesthetic medicine, we use a plasma pen that generates a tiny, tiny plasma arc that when it hits the skin, it instantaneously vaporizes the skin. When you do it over areas of, of loose skin, you do it in this certain pattern where it's literally vaporizing the loose skin. And so the, the heat also that's generated from that is, is stimulating collagen. It's stimulating fibroblasts to produce more collagen and kind of remodeling the whole surface of, of the skin. It's a really cool, exciting technology. Um, it's been around Europe and Korea for a long time. It's just now being brought into the US. The results are pretty dramatic and it it's potentially could be competition for plastic surgeons and for people doing, you know, surgical facelifts and surgical eye lifts. So for people who have kind of loose skin on the upper lids, it, it, it can vaporize that and tighten that. It's not like a collagen, it's not like a filler. It's not gonna fill in kind of areas of, of fat redistribution. It's gonna work more on areas of loose skin. So, um, you know, anywhere there's, there's kind of loose, where you can kind of pinch the skin, you see kind of looseness around the eyes, um, over, the, over the lips. Um, kind of bagginess in the lower cheek and the jowls and in the neck as well. It can help kind of tighten up the loose skin here. I've had some really good success with, with uh, neck lifts, uh, women doing their upper lip. In Asia, they're using a lot for kind of the, the, the blepharopathy, the, the lifting of the lid, which is very popular there. Um, and then, you know, crow's feet around the eyes. I've seen it like vaporize it and like completely new skin. It's really amazing, exciting. There is a little swelling that happens after because, uh, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a trauma to the area. So the body starts putting in fluid and blood flow to the area. So swelling lasts about two days, especially around the eyes, around the neck and uh, other areas around the face, not so much swelling. And then you're left with these tiny little um, uh, crusts that, that take about a week to kind of uh, heal. So you got to kind of factor that in. You could potentially use a, um, a medical kind of concealant or fa uh, foundation to block the areas, but typically they, they, they fall off within, within about a week. And then the, the skin underneath is kind of is brand new and it takes, um, it takes about a full eight weeks to two months uh, to, to really kind of heal, fully heal the area. Um, you need to protect it against the sun because it is brand new skin. So UV, any kind of UV damage can actually cause hyperpigmentation to the area. So you need to use sunblock and moisturizers and keep the skin really clean. What I really love about doing both is, you know, the combination anti-aging internal and external, you know, pe helping people heal on the inside, working on their gut, working on their immune system, working on detoxing and their, their liver, their organs of elimination, then, but also working on their skin and their aesthetics. I feel like when, when you feel good, you look good, and when you look good, you feel good. It's this reciprocal relationship, and I kind of love working on both aspects. When you're working on internally, you're working on the gut, you're working on healing um, kind of dysbiosis, parasites, candida, when that stuff clears, then, then their face clears up, you know, and, and a lot of dermatologists don't aren't trained to deal with nutrition, aren't trained to deal with what's going on inside the gut. I think it's really important as an anti-aging approach to kind of be holistic about it and treat the person completely, you know, from inside and out and externally and internally to get a really, you know, positive effect long term. Um, you know, just, just injecting with Botox to kind of deaden the muscle so that look, wrinkles look like they're better isn't really affecting kind of antioxidant levels, it isn't affecting nutrition levels, it isn't affecting the immune system, which all contribute to skin health.